Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Leo and let's do some more lead code problems today. Today's problem is called group shifted strings. We can perform the following shift operations on the string. So right shift, we replace every letter with the successive letter of the English alphabet. And Z is replaced by A. For example, ABC can be right shifted to B, C, D. Okay, and left shift, is vice versa so it shifts left so the i guess the previous for y z a can be left shifted to x y z okay and we can also keep shifting the string in an endless manner we were given an array of strings we need to group together all strings i that belong to the same shifting sequence you may return the answer in order okay uh, it's better to be exemplified in examples. So here it is. We have a strings array A, B, C, B, C, D, A, C, E, F, X, Y, Z, A, Z, B, A, A, and Z. So we can see easily that A, B, C, and B, C, D are the same group. And also X, Y, Z. Okay, so as we can see here, they belong to the same group. And also A and Z, they are the same group. And also A, Z, and B, A. So the last one, the first one, okay? And one, this one is always one character larger than this one, okay? So they belong to the same group. And a single letter is a single letter. So how should we approach this problem? So we can see pretty easily. Mm, okay, let me write it down here. How do we know that A, B, C, and B, C, D belong to the same group? So basically we shift A to B, B to C, and C to D, okay? So that's how we do this. But if there's something that is like different, um, PQR, for example, do we know they belong to the same group? We don't have to perform all the right shifts from A to P. We just have to calculate the difference between each two letters. Okay, for example, if we say B minus A equals to one in terms of ASCII coding, okay, and we know that C minus B equals to one. So the pattern for AB1, uh, so pattern for ABC is one one okay and next we can also see bcd so c minus b equals to one and uh, d minus c equals to one that makes the pattern for bcd equals to one one okay so in that sense we can group all the all the all the strings together based on their patterns, okay? So how should we return the result? We can save them in a map. Like if we take the pattern as a string and we have a list of strings, if we, if we know all the strings, uh, all, all the patterns, we have the corresponding list of strings as, the, as a part of the final result, okay? So that's basically how it works. It's pretty simple, okay? And now let's code it out. So first we need a map uh, with string and the values are a list of string. Okay, next for each string in the original strings, we're going to calculate its key, okay? And based on its key, we're going to put it in our map. So compute if absent, uh, we have the key, and uh, we're going to take a new array list, and we're going to add the, the string to our, to the value of the corresponding key, okay? And we're going to return, we can return in any order. So we just return mapped out values. 
okay and I think we're going to return a list of list of strings so let me put it here so new array list maps uh, map dot values okay that should be it okay and now our problem is the get key function okay uh, we're going to return a string and the input is a string so if s dot length equals to one that's a single character listed here uh, we can return anything um, like single okay and if it is not a single character string we're going to append it to make our final string so we need a string builder so we're going to iterate through the input string uh, we're going to calculate the current uh, the current number okay so the current number is uh, the current character minus a okay so we get a number that is the difference between a and the current num uh, the, the current character based on ASCII coding and the next will be s character at i plus one oh in that case I have to not iterate through the last one okay so here that's the next next character okay so we just do the calculation here we just uh, calculate the difference so the difference is cur minus next but there's another problem so we have something like z okay uh, like the end of the alphabet we need to effectively move it to A if it's a redshift. And for A, if we're performing a left shift, we're going to move it to Z. So for this problem, I suggest that, oh, not like that, next minus cur. I suggest that we plus 26 and we modulate by 26. So in that case, we don't have any problem with that okay so let's say um yeah in that case we don't have to calculate um the extras so it's going to be in a circular uh, in a circular manner so yeah let's put this to our string builder and we're going to append a uh like a comma to do it as a delimiter Okay, and we're going to return this string as the key of the current string. Okay, so now we have the key, we add it to the hash map and we return the hash map values. Okay, let's run it. Okay, I think it was accepted and let's calculate the complexities. So for time complexity, we're traversing the strings and for for the get key function, we're traversing through each character of the string. So it should be n, which is the number of the strings, and l, which is the length of each string. And for space complexity, we're generating we're generating a string for each one, and uh, we have a list of string for the hash map. So I guess it's also n times l, okay? So at worst, we have to memorize everything, save everything in the map, okay? Let's see if it passes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in our next video.